Wow, that was fast. This was like this big less than two minutes ago. This is the 8 Sleep Pod Pro, one of the top rated smart beds on the market right now. And what exactly makes a smart bed so smart? This one comes equipped with sensor technology, an app that gathers sleep data, and a water hub for temperature control. I feel overwhelmed already. <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> this is Dr. Wendy Troxel. She's a clinical psychologist specially trained in sleep medicine, which basically means she's an expert in all things sleep. For the past 16 years or so, I've spent most of my waking hours thinking about and studying sleep and treating individuals and couples who present with sleep-related issues. So then who better to test this? The 8 Sleep Pod Pro. I'm a bit of a skeptic, honestly, when it comes to smart beds and overly fancy uh, sort of technology in general when it comes to the bed and the bedroom. Let's see if this smart bed can win her over and help us decide, is a smart bed really smarter for your sleep? Spending more time at home during the pandemic has led a lot of people to upgrade their bedrooms, buying mattresses that incorporate technology to improve the quality of their sleep. That's why we're testing the 8 Sleep Pod Pro. But why did we choose this smart bed? A few reasons. It has the most common smart bed features, sleep tracking and temperature control. But it also has a smart alarm, which silently wakes you up with chest level vibration and gradual temperature change. It's also considered a mid-range smart bed, with the king size running about $3,500. Smart beds can cost anywhere from $1,500 to over $100,000. I have to say I am completely naive to the whole smart bed experience. I have never slept on one. First, Dr. Troxel assessed how easy it is to set up the bed. I did not know that it was going to be a bed in a box. It says this is 80 pounds. We were able to hire movers, which is very helpful. These are heavy boxes. While 8sleep doesn't offer white glove service, you can video call one of their product experts to help with setup. Hi, how's it going? Good. Good. Thanks for meeting with us. To help the setup itself, I have to say, was a bit daunting, and it felt very medicalized to me. You're going to want to snake it through in the mid, so like down behind the mattress. I mean, the fact that there's a tube coming out of my bed kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. So this was kind of cool. First, it asked me what side of the bed I sleep on. Then I can also invite my partner. With the help of the tech support from 8sleep, it went relatively very smoothly. It was not instantaneous by any means. And after 90 minutes, it'll be quiet and perfect and ready to use. Next, Dr. Troxel reviewed the bed for comfort. She and her husband slept on it for three nights. You know, it doesn't have any of the other bells and whistles in terms of contouring um, or things like that that other smart beds have, uh, but it is certainly comfortable. My husband probably preferred the firmness of the mattress more than I do. Comfort is an entirely subjective experience. And this is why some smart beds, not this one, do have individualized um, firmness preferences. I did notice that, that at times in the night, it was quite cool. And then in the morning when I was waking up, it warmed up because that's how I had set my preferences. And, and I enjoyed that. Finally, Dr. Troxel assessed the effectiveness of the bed's sleep tracking technology. Well, according to this app, last night I was a perfect sleeper. I got a hundred on my sleep score, but to be honest with you, I didn't get a good night of sleep. This is the noise that we are currently hearing. I have no idea why. This was really disruptive to my sleep. In fact, I know that I was awake uh, for at least 30 minutes in the middle of the night. We did have to do a repriming of the hub today. So hopefully that may have resolved the noise issue. The noise, that was virtually non-existent last night. But when I looked at the metrics more closely, I saw that there were clearly errors in how they were scoring my sleep. You do have the opportunity to edit your metrics. And I did so this morning by indicating that I wasn't even trying to fall asleep until about a half hour after the bed had measured me sleeping. And that I also woke up about a half an hour before I actually got out of bed. So after trying out the smart bed, does Dr. Troxel think it's worth the $3,500 price tag? I'm going to give this mattress overall three-star rating. I did enjoy the temperature control feature. And for partners who share a bed, 
I think this feature of having a non-noise alarm is really nice. And the third thing I liked about the bed was the technology support we received. Now in terms of the cons, every time my husband moved, I could not only feel the mattress itself shifting, but I could also feel the uh, fabric in the mattress cover, that would shift as well. The other thing that I uh, was not particularly pleased about was the overall setup. Now the third downside was the accuracy of the metrics. I can tell you from my own data that these metrics were not entirely accurate. An important caveat of my review is that I only tested this bed over three nights. So my experience of the bed may very likely change over time. Eight Sleep said it takes about one week for the pod to acclimate to your body, and the sleep fitness scores become more reflective of your sleep quality the more you use it. With regard to the noise from the hub, a spokesperson said it typically occurs when there is still air in the system, and all the unit needs is another round of priming. Where do you plug it in? That's a good question. A bed that plugs in. But that's just that's not a water cord, it's a plug. Oh. <laughs> I do have a PhD. <laughs>